When I first started in privacy, I left DOJ essentially. I was on the board of the International Association of Privacy Professionals with Google's Global Privacy Council, and he asked me if I would be the first U.S. Privacy Council. And then from there, I was recruited to um, be the first le privacy legal lead um, at Apple. And again, it was really fun because I was setting something up anew, and I've, I've just so enjoyed building teams and new functions. Putting our users first means that we are deeply committed to their privacy. And succeeding in online advertising and protecting our users' privacy are not mutually exclusive goals. Privacy law, I like to say, is sort of a mixture of law and sociology and cultural anthropology. There is not, in Asia, there's not actually a term for privacy. There's a term for data protection. So a lot of it is looking at what is this concept of privacy. In the U.S., it's the right to be alone. But in public spaces, you don't have a right to privacy. Whereas in Europe, it's a fundamental human right. And at Apple, we look at it as a fundamental human right as well. So it's just applying across globally. And to me, it's just such a critical area for civil liberties. I would say William & Mary is largely to thank for where I've ended up in my career. It taught me to work hard. It taught me to challenge myself, and it taught me to take some risk. And I think if I had to give a piece of advice today, take that road less traveled. Like what you're doing in college should be a baseline. Explore, take as many classes of interest. You, that's not gonna set you up and lock you into a particular career. I mean, the career I'm in now, privacy law, didn't exist when I graduated from William & Mary didn't even exist when I graduated from law school. So, you know, for those people that are in school right now, their careers may not exist. So what they should do is use that time at college to explore. Um, and that was, that's what William & Mary in a liberal arts education gives you the opportunity to do.